Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. I hope you're having a good weekend. Mine's going well. Um, so Gary Cully uh, of Ireland, the gigantic six foot two inch uh, lightweight come light welter. I think he's at lightweight. He says he can eat what he likes and make light welter. He prefers to go down to lightweight. You know, leave a bit of hunger there. But he scored a brilliant fifth round uh, knockout, uh, fourth round knockout, excuse me, of... Um, Miguel Vasquez, the gnarled old former IBF lightweight champion come uh, or turned uh, gatekeeper. Uh, Vasquez is 35. Cully is a lot younger. Um, I think he's 25, 26, Cully. So nearly a decade younger or maybe even a decade younger. Uh, but Vasquez um, had no answer to this, this huge praying mantis six foot two inch lightweight. Uh, looked like a collection of limbs tied together in the middle, so thin and rangy, and a southpaw to boot. And Vasquez, not particularly short, he's 5'10", uh, but he just couldn't get close to Cully. He just couldn't do it. And Vasquez, you know, has been match tough from, from the word off. You know, his, his debut was against a 2-0 Canelo Alvarez. <laughs> Canelo, I think, was only 15, but even so, you know, it's a hell of a debut to have, isn't it? You know, And he lost a split decision, four-rounder. Um... And he's only previously been stopped by, I think it's uh, Josh Taylor when Taylor was on the up. And I don't remember any other, I don't remember any other stoppages. I, I think there's one, but I can't remember it. But Cully became only the second or third man to stop him. Vasquez, he was kind of lunging in, desperately trying to get close to Cully and make a fight of it. But Cully weren't having any of it. He was keeping him on the end of that huge, long jab. Firing lots of very ominous looking um, left handers. If I have a criticism against Cully, um, I mean, he's still a prospect, isn't he? He's only had, you know, 14 fights, I think. Um, but if I have a criticism, he tends to bounce something down a bit too much on the spot. And, and he, he, also, he was also showboating, which is a load of crap, really. I don't, don't like to see that. But he did dominate the old warrior. Vasquez, people forget, Vasquez made six defences of his IBF lightweight title and only lost it on a split decision to, I think it was Mickey Bay. Uh, in recent years, he has adopted that gatekeeper role. He lost a very controversial decision to O'Hara Davis, where I thought he won that fight easily. He was flat out robbed against Lewis Ritson. I don't care what anyone says, that you cannot tell me that that was anything other than a flat out uh, wrong decision. Disgusting decision, actually. All you know, we know all about the board, don't we? Um, and their current status after the the whole Taylor Cattle debacle. But yeah, uh, on this occasion, nothing controversial about this. Cully of Ireland uh, stopped Vasquez in the, in the uh, was it the fourth or the fifth round? I think, it was, I think it was the fifth round. Yeah, it was the fifth round because it was the fifth round. I corrected myself and said the fourth, but no, it was actually the fifth. In the second round, Vasquez was actually cut. There was a slashing sort of uh, left cross that clipped his eyelid and cut him. It wasn't a bad cut. It wasn't in a good place, but didn't didn't bleed too much. Um, and I think it was it was the writing was on the wall. It was a, a sort of ominous, um, a little sort of statement of things to come, really. Um, and then Vasquez was floored in the fourth. It was only he kind of walked onto a left hand, but what was it? I can't remember what 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 hand it was, but he kind of walked onto it and sat down. You know, it was almost like he 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 just got tagged with a not a particularly hard punch coming in. It sat him down. He got up, no problem, wasn't hurt. In the fifth round, what finished it was a left cross that again there was huge long levers. It caught him long, but none of the power was diminished. Caught Vasquez on the jaw, down he went, he looked like he was going to get up, but then he took a knee and set out the count, and for a couple of minutes afterwards, he was sitting on a stool being given oxygen, and he looked in quite a concussed way, I hope he's all right, I'd like to see Vasquez retire now, he could pick up a few more paychecks, hopefully he's looked after his money, but he's been a great warrior, this was his 55th contest, he's won 44, this was his 11th loss, you know, take a back seat now Miguel, you've done your bit, you've been a good champ and a good warrior, um, and like I say, at least two, at least two of those decisions against him were, were were robberies, as far as I'm concerned. But Gary Cully, yeah, looking impressive, young man, confident, 
um, scored he scored some good sort of domestic level wins. Early on in his career, he stopped Jordan Ellison, I think, in three rounds. And Jordan Ellison's a tough guy to stop. If you stop him, you know that you've you got something about you. Um, he stopped Joe Joe Fitzpatrick in a round. That was at um, the Ulster Hall in Belfast. Craig, Craig Rudruff, I think he stopped him in... Did he stop him in four? No, 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 I think he went to points. Craig Woodruff, I think, went to points. And he's had a couple of inside-the-distance wins over imports, whose names escape me. But this was a, definitely a step up, even though Vasquez has seen much, much better days. But a good win. Really, really good win for Cully. All, you know, all respect to him. And... Um, Hopefully he can achieve half of what Miguel Vasquez achieved with his six defences of his IBF lightweight title. So did you see the fight? If so, leave your comments below. Um, we've got more to come later. I'm going to be doing some more videos. So thanks for your time, as always. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit the like button. Do all that usual stuff. It only takes a second to like. It only takes a second to subscribe. Thank you very much for your support. And we'll speak again later on. Bye-bye for now.